Hello and welcome back. Today we will be synthesizing a weekly energetic compound, hexamine nitrate. So this is hexamine, and it's a pretty unique and useful molecule. It looks like many other chemicals do, so it is a white powder that is really soluble in water. It also burns on its own, producing a ton of heat as it is incredibly energy dense. All that makes it really suitable as a camping fuel. But hexamine, besides as a fuel, has a lot of different applications, for example, in organic synthesis where it can be used as in situ source of formaldehyde. But perhaps the most well-known use for hexamine is as a precursor to one of the most widely used explosives, RDX. But I will talk about it more a little later. In the past, I already showed a hint of hexamine's reactivity by mixing it with fuming nitric acid, which resulted in mix nearly exploding. But let's get back on track. So hexamine is a heterocyclic amine, and like most amines, it can form salts, like hexamine hydrochloride, or in our case, hexamine nitrate. To do that, it's pretty simple. And first thing we have to do is to measure out 15 grams of hexamine and dissolve it into 50 milliliters of water. One thing that is slightly noticeable is it's a smell. It kind of smells like old fish, but it is only detectable if you smell inside the bottle with it. After all is an amine, so it should have a smell. So next, it's time to add 50 milliliters of water to dissolve it. The hexamine is incredibly water soluble, so it does not take long for it to completely dissolve. So now I had to prepare an ice bath to cool the solution down. So I added some ice water to a crystallizing dish and put the beaker with the hexamine solution into it. When I eventually felt that it had cooled enough, I then poured 15 milliliters of nitric acid all at once into the hexamine solution. At first nothing happened, but then all of our product crashed out of solution in the form of tiny white crystals. This is our hexamine nitrate or dinitrate to be precise. The next step is to filter it and wash it with some ice cold water to wash out any residual acid that might still be present. I checked the crude product with a pH paper and as expected it is very acidic. So we have to wash it with water to remove any residual acid that might still be present in the hexamine nitrate. Okay, so once that is done, we are left with some wet white crystalline mass. The last step is to dry it and store for future. We may use it in some very interesting project that I mentioned before. And just to absolutely make sure that our product is indeed hexamine nitrate and not just hexamine, I of course had to do a burn test. It took some time initially to start, but that was just because it was still very wet. But once it starts going, it rapidly burns with a dim orange flame notorious for these type of compounds. Okay, so that's it for today. A bit shorter video, but just because the next videos on our channel will be dedicated to some energetic compounds, ranging from common to ones, that you probably never heard of, so stay tuned for that. Bye.